everyone welcome to thrive with dr varsha in today's video we will break down fourth year pharmacy curriculum into their subjects as well as chapter we will see how those subjects and chapter will be useful in our further years as well as when you will select your career or a job how that subject will matter we will also see what type of questions you can expect from each and every topic how much weightage does that topic carry these are the fourth year subject as well as fourth year examination pattern we will see that there are total six subjects having sessional as well as university exam for all the subjects you will not be having any practicals for biostatistics and research methodology as well as for clinical toxicology rest every scheme is same just like your previous years that is 70 marks for your in you that is 70 marks for your university exam and 30 marks for your internal section exam and those get calculated in total that become 100 and for practicals same scheme is there so the first subject of fourth year that is pharmacotherapeutics 3 now why we will study this subject again what is the scope of this subject we will be having 3 hours of theory lectures per week this subject is designed to impart knowledge and skills necessary for contribution to quality use of medicines and the chapters covered briefly that will cover pathophysiology and mostly therapeutics of various diseases this will enable the student to understand the pathophysiology of common diseases and their management whatever we have learned in previous year therapeutics 1 and 2 exactly same pattern will be followed over here now this year will be having different body systems what are the objectives of once you completed the subject you should be able to understand the pathophysiology of any diseases that are included as well as its rational drug therapy then therapeutic approach to manage those diseases in controversies in drug therapy and the importance of preparation of individualized therapeutic plan based on the diagnosis and you need to identify the patient specific parameters relevant in initiating drug therapy and monitoring therapy including alternative time course of clinical and laboratory indices and therapeutic response of adverse effects in the textbook and reference book which you can refer this year again dipiro you can refer dipiro as well as roger and walker and any book for uh, or any book for reference that is available in your library and in practical now again now you will have to uh, You will have to work for more hours than previous years, but this year you will have to maintain a record of at least fifteen cases that you have observed, as well as from the date of admission till the date of discharge. You will have to maintain the record. Then also you will have to present at least two medical cases that you have observed and followed in the wards uh, by giving presentations. And now. the topics that are included in your syllabus that is you will have to learn gastrointestinal system hematological system nervous system psychiatric disorders pain management including pain pathway neuralgia headaches and evidence based medicine wow these are very, this is very important chapter and we will discuss that but we will see the assignment part first assignment is going to be same as you had for previous years recent developments in drug therapy of various system you will have to write it down soft copy as well as for presentation you will have to make three present three assignments for that 1500 to 2000 words and the format of assignment will be same as you have done for previous years and if there is a change over here there is no change as per pci but if there is a change that will be according to your professor and you will have to follow that change otherwise everything is same then the scheme of practical is also same uh, as you had for previous year nothing is changed now we will discuss the topics in the topics 5th and 6th you can expect 5th chapter for 5 marks the pain management that is pain pathways you will get that pain pathways for 5 marks again it is a huge uh, to cover up but yet they will ask that for 5 marks then neuralgia headaches you will be having that for 5 5 marks and evidence based medicine then it can again get divided all of the chapter 1 2 3 4 and 6 they it can get divided from 2 5 10 any of them can be asked and you can get any questions or any type of questions from all this chapter in psychiatric disorders affective disorder anxiety disorder 
sleep disorder and ocd that is obsessive compulsive disorder that will be for five marks we had this for five marks only as well as our professor told us that the certain topics hold this much of weightage and i have referred many previous year question paper as well as question paper from other universities so through that according to my personal experience i have seen that these chapters i have been asked for five five marks so that's why i'm letting you know this affective disorder anxiety disorder sleep disorder and obsessive compulsive disorder is for five marks the rest all of them can be asked for two five and ten second subject that is hospital pharmacy now you will be having two hours of theory lectures per week why you will be studying this because in the changing scenario of pharmacy practice in india for successful practice of hospital pharmacy the students required to learn various skills like drug distribution drug dispensing manufacturing of palindrome preparation drug information patient counseling and therapeutic drug monitoring for improved patient care now once you completed this study you will be able to understand knowing the various drug distribution methods you should know the professional practice of management skill in pharmacies provide unbiased drug information to the doctors know the manufacturing practices of various formulation in hospital setup appreciate the practice based research methods and appreciate the store management and inventory control you will be learning all this in your theory now what book you should refer whatever book your uh, professor is guiding you to refer you can refer that as well as any book that is available out of all this in your library you can refer that the topics that is included now let's see hospital its organization and function now how the hospital is based you will have to draw in layout uh, how you can call any hospital as a hospital uh, otherwise i will uh, i will i will take up a space i will add two three beds and then i will uh, declare that okay this is the hospital no this can't be done you you have to have certain layout you don't you you just don't need some bed and one person to attend you need a certain layout then only you can call any place that okay this is an hospital so what is an official layout you will learn that and its function also then hospital pharmacy its organization and management organization structure staff you will learn what is the staff structure then infrastructure load statics workload statistics how the workload gets distributed who manages that how it get managed management of materials and finance how you will manage the materials and through what you will manage the finance what are the software you will be using to manage the finance who will be the person who will manage the finance roles and responsibility of hospital pharmacist now this subject is basically for us if you want to work in a hospital pharmacy then you should be having knowledge of all this that's why we are learning this subject what will be our role if we are hospital pharmacist you will be learning in this the budget preparation and implementation how you will make an budget how you will prepare that how you will implement that services you will be learning in this hospital drug policy there are many policies in hospital so there are times where you have to make those policy you have to grant those policy and you have to distribute that policy and you have to make sure that policies are being followed so you will be learning in all that pharmacy and therapeutic committee hospital formulary there are hospital formularies there because if you see uh, if you have some common symptom okay i have fever or i have cold i have i have got some infection if i go in certain hospital i will get some different treatment or if i go in another hospital i get a little bit of different treatment why because every hospital has its different formulary because of that you will be having to learn this hospital formulary then hospital committees infection committee research and ethical committee developing therapeutic guidelines hospital form hospital pharmacy communication and its newsletter now you can expect two marks five marks 10 marks question from everything but you can get directly a question like hospital is organization function 10 marks 
then uh, the organization staff infrastructure you can get a layout draw and layout if you can get that for two marks uh, give the definition or give the roles and responsibility two marks or they can give you roles and responsibility of her hospital pharmacist and the uh, infrastructure of an hospital pharmacist then you will have to draw as well as you have to write then it will be for five marks fifth chapter is hospital pharmacy services now you have studied this abc analysis in your second year also for community pharmacy now this is hospital pharmacy so how what are the pharmacy services and how you will do it you will be studying in this that is procurement warehousing of drugs and pharmaceuticals how you will from where you will buy these drugs from where to where you will store those drugs how you will control that inventory then definition of various methods of inventory control a b c b d uh, then lead time safety stock you will be having this for 5 5 marks and combinedly you can get this for 10 marks also like get explain a b a b c analysis lead time safety stock 10 marks drug distribution in hospital individual prescription method yes you will be learning that what are different prescription method then flow stock method you need those drug distribution method then how you will distribute that drug in it to into each and every ward in opd ipd in different pharmacies of different floors how you will distribute that distribution of narcotic and other control substances there are some high risk substances narcotic substances how you will control that there are some regulations rules to follow that you will be learning in this central sterile supply services the role and and your role in that you will be learning that then sixth chapter is manufacture of pharmaceutical preparation sterile formulation there are certain formulations you have to prepare on this spot while uh, uh, before just administering the patient so during that time during that time you will have to prepare all this preparation so that's why you will have to learn all this how you will how you will manufacture the sterile formulations manufacture ointments liquid and cream manufacture of tablets granules capsules and powders total parental nutrition then continuing professional development programs i have made an video of a role of clinical pharmacist in hospital so you can refer that and be, over there i have mentioned one of the uh, role that is you have to provide education and training to the nurses as well as doctor so whatever healthcare professionals are there if they uh, if they have any query as well as they are on the every yearly basis monthly basis they have a program it varies from every hospital to hospital how they conduct that so you will have to train some nurses as well as doctors regarding their queries as well as for their knowledge and to improve their knowledge then radio pharmaceutical is handling and packaging then professional relation and practices of hospital pharmacists how you will maintain your position what practices you will be following how you will maintain a harmony within every with and within every healthcare professionals you will be learning that now hospital pharmacy practical 3 hours per week then Uh, topics are assessment of drug interaction given prescription now you will have to work in an uh, hospital pharmacy over there you will have to observe prescription you will have to identify drug interaction in those and you will have to make an report of that manufacture of parenteral formulations and powders drug information queries there will be dic center so that time whenever we are taking rounds we used to ask nurses and doctors do they have any query and we used to solve those queries as well as for patients too then inventory control you will have to learn practically how you how those pharmacists uh, maintain an inventory so you will have to learn that then the assignments the professor told us to make assignments on everything from 1 to 7 we made everything your professor might told you to make on one or two or everything maybe so there is a now special requirement that is if your college has signed any mou with nearby a hospital uh, of 150 bed or wherever you are doing an internship you will have to perform an hospital pharmacy services that is there are hospital pharmacy you will have to work in that hospital pharmacy and over there you should have a drug information so if any patient or any hospital pharmacist doctors nurses have any query then you should be able to answer that query 
the practical examination scheme is same as you had for previous years it will be same for sessional as well as annual exams your third subject is clinical pharmacy you will be having 3 hours of free lectures per week why you will be studying this clinical pharmacy subject because this subject is specifically made for us because we are going to be clinical pharmacists this subject is especially made for us because we should what are our duties we should be able to perform those duties what how, in which way a standardized way we will be learning that like over here you can see monitoring the drug therapy of patient through medication chart we should do, be doing this this is one of our role then clinical review then obtain medication history interview you then counsel the patient identify and resolve drug related problems of the patients their relatives nurses doctors or any healthcare professional you have to solve that then detect assess and monitor adverse drug reaction this is one of your duty then interpret the selected laboratory results as a monitoring parameters in therapeutics of a specific disease and state and retrieve you have to retrieve it analysis interpret and formulate drug or medicine information so if they have any doubt you will have to first get an a uh, standardized information before providing those information to someone you will have to verify that this information is standardized this is the scope as well as objective why you'll be studying this subject what is book you can refer again whatever the professor is telling you to refer you can refer that but from here you can refer partha sarthi book d1 in this one the textbook of clinical pharmacy practices uh, then in then any book that is available in your library you can refer that to but now we will see the topics now learn the subject really very well because this is your duty you are going to perform all this in a hospital because in the sixth year you will have to completely follow all this as well as if you want to pursue career as a clinical pharmacist then you should know all this really well first is definition development and scope of clinical pharmacy you can expect this for 10 marks as well as 2 marks then introduction to daily activities of clinical pharmacist now what are what your day look like i have already made an video you can watch i will link down below as well as you should know if anyone ask you what are your duty why are you here because people ask us what are you why are you here i don't think you deserve to be here many people say anything i know this so you should be knowing all this before working over there and you should be confident while saying these are my duties and i perform all this really well and every hospital needs a clinical pharmacist like me that's why you should be knowing this drug therapy monitoring medication chart review clinical review pharmacist intervention you all round participation adverse drug reaction management you will have different types of form for each and everything you will have to fill up for each and every patient if you find anything and even if you don't find anything then drug information poison information medication history patient counseling drug utilization evaluation and review quality assurance of clinical pharmacy services g chapter drug utilization evaluation du due sorry and dur will be asked for 5 marks uh, actually each and every chapter given over here will be asked for 2 to 5 marks and they can combine them to, to ask for 10 marks but individually these all are for 5 and 2 marks now uh, you will understand by writing and uh, answer Uh, given by your professor, you will understand. Okay, this uh, has weightage of two marks. That is medication history or uh, just a uh, definition. Then you can understand that it's just for two marks. Then patient data analysis. The uh, you will take a patient case history. There will be a structure how you will in evaluate a drug therapy, and you will understand common medical abbreviation. There are many medical abbreviation terminologies used, so you will understand. and you will be studying that through this then clinical laboratory test using evaluation of disease state and interpretation of test results how you will interpret those test results so that you will understand okay this drug should be given or okay this medication is wrong i need to modify then you can find the intervention to 
दैट इज हेमेटोलॉजिकल एल एफ टी आर एफ टी थाइरॉइड फंक्शन टेस्ट असोसिएट विथ कार्डक डिसऑर्डर फ्लूड एंड इलेक्ट्रोलाइट बैलेंस देन माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल कल्चर सेंसिटिविटी टेस्ट एंड पलमोनरी फंक्शन टेस्ट यूड बी लर्निंग दिस देन ड्रग एंड पॉइजन इन्फॉर्मेशन यू वुड बी हैविंग इंट्रोडक्शन टू ड्रग इन्फॉर्मेशन रिसोर्सेस अवेलेबल नाउ फ्रॉम वेर यू शूड टेक एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन विच शुड बी अ पोर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन अ स्टैंडर्ड इन्फॉर्मेशन नॉट फ्रॉम विकिपीडिया सो यूल बी लर्निंग थ्रू हियर a systematic approach in answering di queries drug information queries how you will answer that within how many minutes you have to answer certain types of queries then critical evaluation of drug information and literature preparation of written and verbal reports how you will answer that you will answer that verbally or or you will be give, giving a report to a physician or any healthcare professional establishing a drug information center yes you have to establish a drug in, drug information center if it's not there in your hospital poison information organization and information resources how you will collect an information for a poisoning cases how you will organize that you will be learning in this pharmacovigilance now again in a career options i have given pharmacovigilance as one of the option for your career and you can also watch that video i will link down below career opportunities for pharma degree graduates scope definition aim of pharmacovigilance adverse drug reaction again its classification mechanism predisposing factors ca casualty assessment the reporting evaluation monitoring prevention and management of adr role of pharmacist in management of adr the seven chapter is communication skill including patient counseling medication history interview and presentation of cases this is this are uh, this subject will teach you soft skill as well as hard skills how will have to perform in an hospital what knowledge you should have before performing in hospital as well as how you should perform to excel internally as well as externally so this subject will teach you and make you that much capable that you can work in an hospital then pharmaceutical care concept critical evaluation of biomedical literature and medication error so you'll be learning all this this is a very good subject please learn thoroughly you, uh, you can expect a uh, 7 8 9 all this chapter for 5 5 marks and they can ask you short definitions for 2 marks from that but 5 marks is the weightage of that chapter as well as the 6 chapter also have 5 marks of weightage for each and every section in that and the practicals of clinical pharmacy will be having 3 hours of uh, practical per week what you will have to do that the students are expected to perform 15 practicals in the following areas covering the topics there are total 4 but in that you will have to cover a 15 15 practicals answering drug information queries 4 and then patient medication counseling you have to counsel four patient on medication you have to answer a drug uh, drug information query to the four question then case studies related to laboratory investigation you have to solve it four then patient medication history interview three number that is you will have to take an interview for three patients and for assignments again three assignments are uh, expected from you from 1500 to 2000 words and the topic four so you have to delete one and you can take any three from that and the format is exactly same as you have for every other subject your fourth subject that is biostatistics and research methodology you have two hours of theory lectures per week now this is the syllabus now in examination in your sectional examination the professor might ask you in any pattern they can ask you just theory 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 sometimes and just um, uh, sums sometimes but every time remember no matter how the pattern they are taking internal exams but during university exam they will be asking half of the section for sums and half of the section for theory so if you keep in mind that okay our professor every time he ask or she ask theory questions only or just uh, sums then i will just do that one of them only and i will skip the other section because they never ask such question then you will be very very in very pain while uh, giving examination for university because i was one of them not just me there were many students with me my classmate because our professor what he did he never 
we never given any sums in internal uh, examination so we thought that okay in university also because uh, we got uh, teachers for this subject towards the end of university for the whole year we never had so towards the end we got teacher and he every time he took the uh, theory questions only so we thought okay in university also we will get theory questions but no uh, half of the section was theory and half of the section was completely sum so that was so hard but thankfully we came out of that successfully from the topic bio statistics and research methodology now why we will why we will learn this subject now looking at this syllabus we will we will know why are we learning this subject first is research methodology types of clinical studies why are we learning this subject we will learn clinical clinical study designs then case studies observational studies interventional studies what type of studies are conducted if you want to go in clinical research medical writing then you should know all this that then what type of studies are done then designing the methodology how you will design that program that methodology for each and every research or each and every studies will be learning through this sample size determination of power of a study then how much should be a sample size for each and every study conducted in an your uh, in your hospital or anywhere how much should be the sample size to make that study a powerful study a potent study then determination of sample size by comparative experiment then report writing and presentation of data how will how will you write a report the format the layout resources you will be learning from this and how you will present that data where you should present that data you will be learning in this subject then biostatistics then types of data distribution now whatever the research okay the research has been done okay how but how you will design that research once you have to do it on the external factors that that are the subjects you will be taking in and research that is the patients or animals or just the observational studies you have to observe the patient or animal how will you will design those studies then how will the procedure gets carried away in that study you will be learning this as well as once the study is done how you will distribute that how you will distribute that data and once the study is done how you will calculate and do the analysis of all those study by different methods you will be learning in this subject that is bio statistics data graphics then basics of testing hypothesis now these are some software that is uh, S spss ap info sas you will be getting this for 5 marks and sometimes definition of all of them for 2 marks but 5 marks and com and combinedly two or three of them can be asked for 10 marks and anova then this parametric uh, parametric data uh, t square test will be for 5 marks then analysis of variance one way two way that can be asked for 10 marks see then the c chapter the, from level of significance to anova that can be asked for 10 marks each and everything then the null hypothesis level of significance power of test p value these all can be asked for 2 2 marks the definition of all of them uh, and the formulas of them can be asked for 2 marks statistical methods in epidemiology that will be asked for 2 2 marks their definitions and their little bit of formula sometimes they differentiate between them third chapter is computer applications in pharmacy that is Uh, which computer system is used in hospital pharmacy pattern of computer used in hospital pharmacy patient record database management the patient record how you will manage by which software how the software is designed you will not have to learn the designing of that software but the layout how that is designed you will be learning that medication order entry how you will do it drug labels and list if for ivs then admixture patient medication profiles inventory control management of report and statistics means the computer based layout and the management through a digital platform how you will manage an hospital hospital pharmacy inventory distribution so you'll be having that knowledge of the layout you'll be learning that then co computer in community pharmacy how it is useful 
uh, to provide services in hospital pharmacy community pharmacy mm. so computerization the prescription and dispensing process use of computer for pharmaceutical care in community pharmacy so how you will use it what will be the software how the software will look like the layout as well as the roles of that software and the uh, uses or the benefits of the software you will be learning this accounting and general ledger system these are some system you will be learning all this you can expect the, uh, this for 5 and 2 to marks you can get this for 5 and 2 marks and combinedly you they can ask you uh, for 10 marks also but each and every section will be for 5 5 marks drug information retrieval and storage introduction to advantages of computerized literature retrieval and use of computerized retrieval so that again will be for 5 marks 2 marks and you can refer any book that is been provided by your professor the fifth subject is biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics 3 hours of theory lectures per week now while you will study this subject again from this syllabus we will understand that introduction to biopharmaceutics absorption of drug from git drug distribution drug elimination now whenever you are performing any research that is if you want to pursue career in clinical research will be having this subject because if you have knowledge of this subject then you will be able to do a job in a clinical research area you will be learning different types of model how a clinical research study how that compound has been made how that compound gets react into our body through what way we should analysis that compound into our body as well as externally we'll be learning that through what way we should manage that we should identify or do analysis of that we'll be learning in this subject then the second is pharmacokinetics that is introduction to pharmacokinetics then its model for different types of pharmacokinetic model then these are these are some models one compartment open model multi compartment model and the effect because of this models get changed so so for each and every component each and every drug entity you will have to uh, analysis on this different type of compartment and which one is potent then you can select that model then multiple dosage regimen non linear pharmacokinetics non compartmental pharmacokinetics bioavailability and bioequivalence i don't want to scare you but each and every year has that one subject which is scary and which is tough so in this year this is that subject please learn this very well now we will see what are the practicals in this now i will tell you whatever you have studied in theory you will be having those type of practical and those type of calculations in your practicals as well you will be having 3 hours of practicals per week you can refer any book that is been provided by your professor but you can refer remington from this And types of question you can expect from complete syllabus that is 2 marks 5 marks 10 marks question from each and every chapter and each and every topic because they can ask you to uh, explain one compartment model what any one compartment of model but then that will be for 10 marks or explain the types of compartment Uh, explain the types of uh, models then that will be for two marks or just give definition two marks or one of the model uh, with then classification that will be for five marks the last subject that is clinical toxicology you will be having two hours of theory lectures per week now why you will study this subject uh, our professor one of our professor was pursuing phd during that time he told that while he was studying uh, on a book from on the first page it was written anything in excess that becomes toxic so if you consume anything that is normal in you if you consume it in a normal way or if you consume it in a standard form but if you consume it excessively that everything even apple can become a toxic a water can become toxic so consume it in a normal and standard way and when it get excess that become toxic so that's why in each and every day basis in healthcare field you will have to uh, experience you will be you will be experiencing such conditions such situations where there will be a toxicology cases 
where you will have to deal with toxicity during that time this subject will help you that is general principles involved in management of poisoning there there are cases of different poisoning so how you will manage that what are those principles behind those poisoning will be learning that then antidotes and clinical application means there are different types of antidotes for toxins as well as poisoning so what are the applications of those antidotes for which uh, toxin or which poisoning which are the antidotes you will be learning that supportive care in clinical toxicology not just an antidote is enough but there are many supportive care before uh, bringing that patient to hospital you have to perform something and after that also so what are those supportive care you will be learning that then gut decontamination there is a one procedure that is called a gut decontamination you will be learning that which is a brief which is majorly used in a poisoning condition elimination enhancement how you will eliminate that toxicity how will you enhance that that type of methods you will be learning that then toxicokinetics pharmacokinetics pharmacodynamics like that toxicokinetics clinical symptoms and management of acute poisoning with following agents now poisoning conditions how you will manage those symptoms so these are some agents for those agent how you will do that management pesticide then organophosphorus carbamate these are some common which you you which you see on uh, like on frequent basis in an hospital scenario then opiates antidepressant barbiturate benzodiazepine alcohol you can see alcohol majorly then paracetamol salicylates nsaids then hydrocarbon then uh, caustics then radiation poisoning people consume a washing powder that is caustic so during that what happened hmm. then clinical symptoms and management of chronic poisoning now where we have studied acute now chronic poisoning that is heavy metals arsenic lead poisoning mercury iron and copper then then snake bites for venom based snake that is families of venom based snake then a uh, clinical effects of venoms a uh, general management is first aid early manifestations complication as snakes bite injuries we will be learning this in plant poisoning with mushrooms and mycotoxins food poisonings and envenomation arthropod bites and stings so these are different types of toxicities we will be learning that and different types of poisoning we will be learning how it gets occurred how you can prevent that that prevention that is first prevention then the supportive treatment before uh, getting uh, treated uh, through a physician supportive treatment before then the treatment its management and after support and after the treatment and management what will be a supportive treatment you will be learning all this so again what, what will be a two type of two marks of question the types classification its applications uh, the over here how you can prevent such type of poisoning that it will be asked for two to marks this type of question will be asked for two marks five marks question will be like this clinical symptom and management of acute poisoning of antidepressant anyone or antidepressant or radiation and poisoning so that will be asked for five marks and for 10 marks you will be so in this whatever it is asked for five marks same type of question can be asked for 10 marks too and now again i am telling this on my personal experience based and uh, the university examination paper i have seen for other universities too so through that i understood this that five marks and 10 marks questions are kind of same you can't actually differentiate that what you you will just have to increase the uh, length of an answer you will have to add extra points so learn each and every topic for 10 marks you will get you can then write for 5 marks also and 2 marks also and there is a next thing called as substance abuse signs and symptoms of substance abuse and treatment of dependence that is cns stimulants amphetamine opioids cns depressant hallucinogens lsd cannabis group and tobacco any reference book you can refer any textbook you can refer that uh, will be provided uh, officer so you can refer that i hope that it's clear
how it will be useful in your further years as well as in your career if you have any doubts you can comment below you can message me on my instagram email and on linkedin if you find this video insightful please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye Thank you.